HBO's new show Westworld is pretty cool. It's sort of a Western dystopic future, a little bit of cyberpunk. I've watched the first two episodes and actually I'm really enjoying the show. And what I see a number of people asking is, what is this revolver that Ed Harris's kind of mysterious character is carrying? Well, the answer is, it's a Lamotte revolver, or as the correct pronunciation would probably be, Lemont. And these are a, they were actually used primarily by the Confederacy during the American Civil War. This is a nine shot, 42 caliber muzzle loading revolver that also happens to have an 18 gauge shotgun barrel, muzzle loading shotgun barrel, as the center axis of the cylinder. In total, about 3,000 of these were made. They're pretty cool. They still make, uh, well, I think it's Uberti makes or used to make reproductions of them, so you can get them without paying the exorbitant price for an original. If you're interested in the details of the original, take a look in the description. I have some several full videos on them. However, this isn't quite what Ed Harris' character is using, because as we can clearly see in the show, he's using cartridges and reloading this thing with 38 short Colt cartridges. So, is this a cartridge firing Le Mans? Well, sort of, but not really. There was an actual cartridge firing version of the gun made, and it's this. Uh, looks substantially different from the original gun. Now, the reason you couldn't simply take the original gun and stuff some 44 caliber cartridges, cartridges in it, maybe put on a uh, 44 caliber barrel instead of the 42, is that the rims of the cartridge would overlap with each other. The cylinder is not big enough to accommodate those rims because in its original form it's a muzzle loading gun so you don't have to worry about cartridge cases at all. So this clearly is not what Ed Harris' character is using. Uh, these cartridge guns, by the way, are very rare. There were very few of them made because they were not commercially successful. Now, what Harris' character looks like he's using is actually a cartridge conversion. These are done uh, today, actually, on a commercial basis by a company called Curse Conversions, or Curse Converters. And what they basically do is cut the cylinder a little bit short and add a back plate. So you can now chamber cartridges in that cylinder and then you'll see on the top of that back plate there is a little firing pin. What that firing pin does is allow the percussion hammer to detonate center fire primers. It's a really cool system. Cursed makes them for pretty much all the major types of uh, percussion revolvers out there, but they don't make them for the Le Mans. And there's a reason for that. It doesn't quite work the same way. So if we, when we see uh, Harris's character disassemble this gun in the show, you can see that the barrel, the shotgun barrel, comes off with the regular uh, revolver barrel and the cylinder. And that's not how the gun actually came apart. In reality, these guns, the, the shotgun barrel is affixed to the frame of the gun. You never have to get at the back of the shotgun barrel because it's a muzzle loading piece. So there is no access to the back other than for the percussion cap. This conversion that's being used in the show changes that. It, it makes that cylinder access come off with the regular barrel. So they've done some significant conversion uh, modification to the gun, and we can also see him actually load a, a, a center fire shotgun shell into it. Now that shotgun shell is total fantasy. In reality, a center fire conversion Le Mans would have retained the muzzle loading shotgun barrel because there was no cost effective way to actually convert that center barrel to use self-contained ammunition. Now, on the original cartridge firing Le Mans revolvers, there is a loading gate, like right here, uh, in the back to allow you access there, but because of the the way that the original guns, the percussion guns, are made, this would not be practical to convert. Now, that being said, Harris's character does disassemble the gun pretty much appropriately. Um, on the originals, as you can see here, the barrel is threaded in place. The the modified gun they have in the show, they've changed that because obviously the center barrel comes off along with uh, the revolver barrel. So what they've done, it appears, is just give it basically one latch that holds the whole thing in place. That probably wouldn't be strong enough for a real gun, but of course in the show they're only firing blanks, which you can see from there being no recoil, so it works all right. One of the cool things they do get totally right is this use, uh, how you actually use that shotgun barrel. Uh, you actually adjust, flip the hammer like that in order to reposition it to hit the center uh, percussion cap, or of course in the case of a conversion gun, the center firing pin. 
And that is exactly what Ed Harris is doing right here in the second episode of the show. All in all, it's a really cool show, and it's actually a pretty cool conversion revolver. If you'd like to know more about the production versions of the Le Mans, take a look at the description text below. You'll find uh, links there to a couple of different videos I've done. So, thanks for watching.